Hello teacups, what's brewing? I'm a little bit sad today. I bought a new attachment for my tripod. It's like a ball head attachment so you can tilt the camera a little bit better. And I was trying to frame the shot a little bit nicer, but unfortunately this background only goes so far. So keeping it perfectly in shot without showing the edges and also not having you look directly at my nostrils is a little bit difficult. <laughs> I'm trying to maybe so I'm not straight in your face, but this is the best I can manage, unfortunately. But we're trying for you. We'll see how it is. I've ordered a cheap camcorder because we still don't know what's going on with uh, my work. I'm meant to go back to work next week, but we've had no announcement from the ministry on how it's going to work from now. So we've got a couple of weeks before we get kids in, if we get kids in or what happens. But I decided just to go for a camera. So if I'm recording online videos, it's going to be a lot easier. My phone is nearly full up. And so I just want um, an SD card and to have it separate rather than using my phone all the time. But here we are. Anyway, um, Chantal is back with us. First experience with Fashion Nova Curve. You guys, knowing what I know of Chinese fashion, I'm not massively hopeful for her. Uh, I've lived in China twice in my life and it is difficult. The first time was pre my surgery. Um, so I was plus size, I, mean, I was between 250 and 270 around. I went up and down during my time there. Um, so quite near to my heaviest really and I, I wasn't buying anything. I wasn't buying anything from there. I was ordering it in from home and having it shipped. Um, so that was quite difficult and um, my second time I was in China was post-surgery and even with me being a lot smaller I was still having to order plus size from Taobao and from Chinese suppliers. So I'm a tag concerned how this is going to go for her. Fashion Nova Curve is bigger sizes than their usual, but Chinese manufacturers aren't always that great at working with realistic fit models. And a plus size Chinese person is not going to be a plus size Western person. And at any size, the fit is very difficult. The boobs tend to be narrower. Um, there just tends to be less shape in it altogether. Um, the shoes, I think we, we saw, if you watched her live, we saw a preview of the shoes. Um, if she doesn't break an ankle, I'll be amazed, but I'll be amazed if she fits into them at all, to be honest, because shoes run very, very narrow. And if she's as heavy as she is, she's going to have wide feet. It's just going to be the case uh, because fat does that to them. As a normal size in China, the last time I was there, I found shoes very difficult. I'm a 39 EU. Uh, which is a size 6 UK. I think that's an 8 US. I'm not sure how the sizes in Canada work. I feel like they might use the European ones. I found the standard sizes in Chinese shoe ranges went up. If it was just a cheap manufacturer, usually went up to a 37, occasionally a 38. In some shoes, if it was an international brand or if it was a sports shoe, you could find it up to a 40 but that didn't necessarily help the width of the shoes, just more the length. So I always found the bridge just before it hit, like just the bridge of your foot before it hits your toes to be very, very tight. And that made it difficult to wear kind of fast fashion shoes there. You can go into international brands and get some that fit a little better, but it was a difficult thing. It required trying things on quite a lot. I, I'm not hopeful for our chances, but fingers crossed because Here's the thing with this haul before we start. I'm going to try not to be a bitch about this because shopping for clothes at any point is hard. Shopping when you're plus size is harder, especially when she's coming in from a Chinese brand, which wasn't the best choice, but it's cheap and it's fast fashion. And as a few people have pointed out, at this point, it takes a while for these kinds of orders to get to you. And when she ordered it, she was still sort of in the health phase of her cycle and so she was expecting to lose weight so and she's also got the problem of her image of herself tends to be how she was when she was 20 or how she's gonna be when she achieves xyz she doesn't spend a lot of time on reality in the present and of the and it's it's good to have a goal in mind but 
she doesn't spend a lot of real time looking at, okay, what will help me now? What will help me to get through that? Because in this moment, she needs things to wear. And it's so hard shopping when you're plus size. And she's got a very difficult fit. She's an apple. She holds all her weight kind of in the middle and forward. And that's incredibly hard to find clothes for. And she's very short, which doesn't help the matter. So I, I know I'm rabbiting on a little bit here, but I recognize how hard it is for her just generally to buy clothes. And I'm hoping she finds something here but I've got a feeling it's not going to be that great for her. She did say she had a Pennington's haul as well and she might combine them. So we might have some Pennington stuff here, which at least is Western. She'll have more clothing that she can actually um, maybe wear that's better fitted to her body. But I hope so, because it always sucks when you buy things that you can't wear. Like wearing clothes anyway like going and trying them on just remind you that you don't look the way you want to look and it's horrible and i sympathize a lot with that because for all she does this to herself in the sense of well she gained the weight she's not doing anything about it right now and she puts this online she made the choice to do this haul and put it online so she opens herself up to that criticism it's a horrible place to be in and i feel bad for her because she ha she obviously has in her imagination what it's going to look like and what it's going to feel like and I don't think it's going to live up to that. Hello. Hello everybody. Hello. He's a righteous man. Absolutely. Everybody. Not. Hey guys, hey. So this really, What's really sucks and I'm so sorry. Mouth. But for some reason I was having trouble with my new mic and it was plugged in and it wasn't working as you can see for some reason the audio just didn't work at all so I'm just going right. to I really don't want to throw away this video I just want to really um, I guess do a voice okay um, re-record your video I know that you don't want to I know it really sucks unless maybe she's got a problem with a microphone that hasn't been fixed but she doesn't need to have a mic. She has a built-in one for her camera. I think she said recently she had bought a, a mic for her camera, didn't she? In which case, use the internal one and have it be slightly worse quality. Also, she mentioned in her live that she bought these stick-on bra lift things that you wear with kind of strapless stuff. I don't know if she's wearing them right now, but she needs a bra with this top her boobs are i mean it could be the fact that she's sitting her boobs are hanging very low it's not doing her any favors i've seen her in that top before and it's looking tighter than it did like do you remember when she had that well it's gone now i think but the boil she had in her back she had a driving video where she was wearing this and i remember stopping and saying oh i really like her makeup she tried you know she's obviously made an effort with her appearance today and that took top looks like it's in better days it's over so i'm sorry next video will you know have the audio that you're used to so in this segment first part of my try on haul i just introduced what i'm doing i have a fashion nova and pennington's haul for you now the oh. fashion nova is fashion -over. i keep coughing if you get weird cuts it's not just me cutting out that i keep coughing I promise it's not the rona curve and I got a few things from there I got a few few things from Pennington which is a plus size store here in my neck of the woods I'm in Canada as a lot of you know most of you know so I'm going to do the tr can I you might be able to say I realize the picture is quite small in my video what has she done to her lipstick aside from the fact that I think um a more a slightly darker mauvey color would have been better with this top her lip line is fucked to hell at the minute sorry <laughs> uh, look at i mean the freeze frame is actually quite good look at how uneven this is you're obviously sitting at your makeup place you you filmed here before what's going on there honey I you can do that better I've been that. promising you guys so I really just kind of talk a bit about how um, I kind of stepping out of my comfort zone as a plus-size woman doing a fashion over curve haul because 
uh, their clothes are very, um, they really stick to your body, they really accentuate your body. A lot of the clothes that I bought today really kind of accentuate your body and coming from a place as a bigger person that's always been used to hiding my body and just getting more and more comfortable with my body as it is, I figure, you know, it's kind of out of my comfort zone to do, to wear these kind of clothes, especially in front of so many of you. But uh, I am excited and let's get to. Okay, she talks a little bit there about wearing tighter clothes and accentuating your body. And I don't think she understands that those aren't necessarily the same thing. When you talk about accentuating your body, you, what that really means is accentuating the parts of your body you like. <laughs> and and uh, maybe evening out your body, just for example, and this is not a good example of what I'm doing today because I'm wearing this here. You probably can't see. So I'm wearing this today. It's very, I throw it over when I want to, when I want to just cover up because I go outside and it's Arabia, you know? So if I just pull this out, you can see I have a defined waist. Yeah? Um, you can't really, this was a terrible idea, sorry. You can see I have a defined waist right here. I have very big hips. I'm going to have to fix the camera now. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. I didn't plan that very well. Um, I have larger hips. I have larger thighs. I have a defined waist. And now, thanks to my boob job, I have my boobs back because I lost them when I lost weight. <laughs> so I have a curvy body. I've always had a curvy body. When I dress for my shape, I tend to smooth over my legs because they're my widest point, and frankly, I don't like them very much. And I tend to accentuate my waist because my waist has always been proportionally smaller than my body, even when I was heavy, I've got a hair. So when we talk about accentuating my body, that's what I tend to focus on. She tends to think, okay, well, tight means accentuating your body, but she's just going to show everything, and that's not necessarily what you're trying to do. So the first item I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start with the Fashion Nova side of things, and I purchased these breast lift it's a terrible kind idea. of pasties. They're made of silicone. Mm -hmm. These are the plus size, so I wanted to try them out because I did get a shirt where it would look caress your there was like a strapless bra or something, and I just wanted to try them out. As you can see, the girl on the cover is not plus size, and she has already mm -hmm. kind of perky breasts. You can just tell by looking at them. Yeah, I mean the photoshop to hell but yes uh she does have big boobs by the chinese standards <laughs> um and they are very full those products are not designed for us and by us i don't even mean fat birds i mean <laughs> we are of an older age yeah i can tell you just by looking at her and knowing my old age that her boobs are not in the kind of condition that these things are going to help because they're both too big and just from her age, they're too saggy. I'm sorry, I don't know a nicer way to say that, but if you have nice boobs, they're kind of perky, they do the thing, and you're younger, yeah, these will give you a little bit of lift, it's fine. But you're expecting them to do literally a lot of heavy lifting if you think they're gonna work. And I did say she looks, I can't see because she's there, she just cut off kind of where I am, which seems an odd way to show something like this, but, her boobs look lower than usual. I kind of hate the fact that I have a usual for that standard. <laughs> I, I think her boobs are too big and too old for this. I, I don't think it's going to be able to. I can tell you right now, she needs a good bra with wide straps, good support. She needs a lot of lift to separate her boobs from her stomach because she holds a lot of her weight forward and to just try and give them a bit more of a defined shape. And like she says, she has a lot of back ache. She does carry a lot of weight at the front. A good bra will help with that to an extent, but these are definitely not gonna be a good option for her kind of long term. Maybe one night for a party if they stayed up, but they're not gonna do any favors to her shape at all. Oh, they're like the sticky cup that has like a sticky strip of tape See? above them. Look at that. That does not help her shape at all. Also, her rubbing her boobs on camera is making me uncomfortable. I know she's not gonna show them to us, thank 
God, but the, I, I'm not loving this. Just be like, hey, this is the shape, done. <laughs> but it's not doing her any favors. It needs more support. And frankly, even though she's heavier, you can see in how that separates there that her boobs are not full. So I'm betting like when, when you diet, when you go up and down in weight, your boobs suffer. A few people get away with it, but mainly your boobs suffer. I ended up having a breast lift and augmentation after I lost my weight. And I wasn't planning on doing that. I was like, I don't, I was about a C cup beforehand. I didn't care if I went down to a B. But what was killing me was having to play boob origami every time I put my bra on. Because those are not gonna lift. Those are gonna fold. When, if you stick something and then you lift it up, it's just gonna fold in because she's got too much mobility in the skin and not enough filling it up because she's a little bit older. And that's not even because she's heavier, that's just because she's older and that's how she's built. I obviously won't show you my boobs, but... Stop rubbing um, up. They do, for somebody who has, for lack of a better term, plus size pendulous breasts, um, they did work surprisingly well uh, for the type of boobs I have. Obviously, if you have perkier, smaller boobs, they would work better. But they actually stick in place and don't come off. And they didn't come off the whole try-on haul. So I was very okay. surprised about that. So I would be very surprised about that as well. I wouldn't think... I think they'd start rolling down pretty quickly. I mean, I could, could be wrong. Please stop rubbing yourself. Um, I could be wrong. We'll see. But... And that, it's going to be a no from me, I think. I actually thought they were they were okay. Now they do come with like a little circle of fabric mm. you put over the nipple so the so the sticky doesn't stick to it oh, and irritate it. And um, they also advise if you have sensitive skin not to wear these. So my skin was a bit red after taking them off. Oh. So just letting you know. That doesn't sound comfortable at all. I have them on my boobs and I'm ready to go. Oh, don't you dare go any further down than that. Yeah, no. Basically, where that little sticky bit is, is where her boob should be at this point. And um, it's not. Her boobs are swinging sideways because they don't have any side support pushing them forward. This isn't going to accentuate her shape at all. I forgot to mention that I also let you guys know that I'm wearing a headband because I decided to be stupid and cut my own bangs. So I look like... Um, Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. Go and check her Insta. In fact, I'm going to try and get the picture and just insert it here. Why would you cut your own bangs? Come on now. Why would you cut your own bangs? That was a terrible idea. Why did you do that? She's got very fine, thinning hair, and she has a lot of trouble with her hairline. Now, I'm not criticizing her hair because, dude, I wear a wig. Who the fuck am I to criticize someone's hair? But knowing the issues she has, knowing she struggles with her hairline and that it's thinning and she's just been to the hairdresser to try and fill that out and change the shape of it and she's got, it goes up quite far here and then parts out, that's not going to work for a fringe. Why would you do that to yourself? And now that you've done it, you're not going to be able to pull it back and hide anything. Like, and yeah, you've got a headband on today, but... I used to watch, um, what's his name, Brad Mundo, Mondo, he does like hairdresser reacts, I used to be into uh, America's Next Top Model way back in the day, I haven't watched it recently, but he does reacts on the makeovers and sometimes it's funny to see um, how the makeovers were back then, essentially they're very much off their time, put it that way. Um, so. I, I've, I get his videos popping up in my recommendations sometimes and he talks about cutting fringes and all of that and how they take two years to, to grow out again. So people cut fringes thinking it'll be no a big deal but it's one of the biggest things you, you can do to your hair because once it's done, it's done. Like, oh, it was a bad idea. It would be a bad idea for her hair in general. But yeah, that's, that's a thing she did. In a way, so I just, it was a disaster. So never do that. And I'm just wearing a headband to make things easier to hide the little flyaways. So now I'm showing you guys these earrings I got from Fashion Nova. I did get Beautiful. some earrings. That's a beautiful way to open that. Those look hideous. Okay, fat people and costume jewelry. 
You can get away with big costume jewelry because you're a bigger person, proportionally it looks better. Also, when you have trouble finding clothes to fit, big costume jewelry is a way to express your style in a way that you don't always have the freedom to do with clothing. I don't have a problem with her wearing big jewelry, with her wanting to be more stylish, with her trying them out, with her liking them. It's a subjective thing. I think this particular pair, I think, is hideous. Uh, but she's got quite a wide base at the bottom, and so I don't think earrings are going to help her with that. I don't think they're going to settle very well. Things and I'm kind of cringy. I'm opening opening them with my teeth. Yeah. Again, you could have cut that out so that we didn't like just a bare mediocre of effort. Cut that out so you don't have to defend it. Or hey, we record the video so we're not listening to this crappy voiceover. You have enough time. Now she cut her bangs, I want to say it was yesterday. So she's recorded this since. She's recorded it and then uploaded it. I woke up early this morning and this had been up for about an hour when I did. So she posted it probably around 11 p.m. She filmed it this day and she uploaded it this day. But you could have planned this slightly better. You could have delayed for a day. Like you could give us better than this. You've just talked about how you want to improve improve the quality of your video you could do better than this but uh, i did get uh, some earrings and overall i have to say i was very impressed with the quality of the earrings they were oh, lightweight even with the huge bigger earrings that looked like they would weigh a lot and they were actually pretty sturdy and didn't hurt my ears when they were hanging from my earlobes oh. especially these huge ones here sorry she showed us that's not a very good free frame she showed us these in the live and i was like they seem a bit much, but maybe on? Maybe on. I'm 50-50 I'm with those, but my instinct says I don't like them. As you can see, uh, they're made with, they have these like fake diamonds on them. I love costume jewelry, probably even better than the real thing, honestly. Not that I can afford it, but I wanted to try these big... You can afford a trip to the Dominican Republic, but not a piece of jewelry? No cool bullshit. Although, like I said, costume jewelry, it's bigger, it's more fun, it's quick, it's a way to show, it's a way to show style in a way clothing doesn't allow you to, and also when you have smaller and more delicate pieces of jewelry, they sometimes get lost a little bit when you're bigger, they're less noticeable, so you do need something that makes a bit more of a statement wear earrings. I always wear round, big round hoops, so I thought, let's think outside the box this time and try oh, these big square earrings. Ah, these I actually like. These are a little bit narrower, so they're going to hang down a little bit more, and I just think, yeah, those are bold earrings, but I think they strike a balance, whereas the other ones are a bit too much, I think. Now lastly, but certainly not least, these are probably my favorite of the bunch. I see that yep. these are really in style like right now. And these were really, really, really lightweight. I could barely tell that they were on. Uh, so okay. what I'm going to do Cheap is up. try different the different earrings on with different outfits that I'm trying for you guys. She's gone all sparkle, sparkle in this though. There we go. I'll tell you what those colors remind me of. Let me see the dress. Um, I'll try and put a picture in. But the red and the gold together remind me of... Does anyone remember John Travolta in Hairspray? That finale scene where he's doing the dance and he pulls off his coat and is like, yeah. <laughs> that dress, the color combination reminds me of that dress. I mean, I'll find a picture, maybe it won't want to see it. Fashion over curve. Uh, as you can see, I have those big square earrings on and they were so lightweight and they were... I'm sorry, but no, I have to look at the earrings. Her face at the bottom is wider and they're pushing, it's pushing the earrings out. And that means if they were hanging, like they would be proportionate to her, they would be a statement but proportionate if they were hanging naturally. But right now they're not. They need to be slightly smaller so you're not pushing against them. We are where we are, I suppose. Actually really gorgeous. I really, really like these earrings. So this is the first dress. It's like a sequin, shiny red and gold kind of dress. Um, and Again, if she was buying this with her holiday in mind, it's not a bad evening dress. I would say with her shape, she might have done better to have gold on the top and red on the bottom just to help balance the shape a little bit more. But the biggest thing that concerns me with that dress is it doesn't seem to have 
any seaming, any shaping in it. So I, I don't know how that's gonna look on her, to be completely honest, she might need a bit more help. I love how the dresses have shape, like they go in at the no, side. No, they don't. Just looking at this. Sorry, was... sorry, they don't have shape. You just showed me that and it was completely floppy. There's no structure to that dress. And a structure might help to pretend you've got a shape. It might help to form a shape around you. But if it's just floppy like that, it's going to be whatever shape you are. So you're, you're not going to get... I think she's got this image of, in her head of like an hourglass shape and look, it'll curve around. No, the dress does that, but your body doesn't. So it's not going to be able to structure it for you. It doesn't have that, that seeming and, and uh, that make. 3X, that's the highest size for fashion of a curve. I was not optimistic that it would work at all. I also got Why a pair of stilettos. I don't know what I was thinking, but they, um, they did not fit my feet at all. My feet are yeah. way too fat for these, and uh, I was... <coughs> no, they did not fit. But I wanted to wear them for the just for the try-on to have some fancy shoes, but they didn't fit, sadly. Yeah. Like I say, the shoes are narrow, stilettos are extremely hard, these are very pointy. So maybe I'll give them away to somebody who would wear them. I don't know anyone, but you never know. Alright, so I didn't even bother filming the try-on of the first dress because I did try to put it on and it, I didn't even get it. I barely got it over my head. Yeah. <laughs> it would not pull down over my boobs, so, uh, but I will... The thing there though is that's quite stretchy as well. Like, I think she was very optimistic in these fitting her. When I was in China last time post-surgery, I was in a 1X to 2X. That wasn't my size, but that's what I was in in China. So to say she thought she'd fit in a 3X, plus size is not plus size there, you know? Say that I will, maybe some, you know, two, two sizes down, I'd be able to wear it. So I'm gonna keep it. Uh, and I'm definitely going to, Pete did say any dress that didn't fit me, he would try on. So I've been asking him and maybe he'll be featured Sounds in the next horrifying. haul. But I do love it, the quality of the dress. Actually, I was surprised yeah. and uh, buy it and I'm gonna keep it because it's a very, very beautiful dress. I don't hate the dress as a design. I know it's not for everybody, but in terms of just going out and having fun, I've always kind of liked the look of sequin dresses, but uh, I don't, hmm. Now I did get one more dress from Fashion Over Curve. It's a black bodycon dress, which means oh, it, very, it sticks to your figure basically. Right. And it's, um... do you see how small those arms are? That's another thing on, in Chinese clothing, the armholes are always tiny. No way would she be able to get in that. It's a gorgeous dress. Again, it has these little line ridges on it. It has that go shape that goes in at the middle. And all, not all dresses, that's a lie. Not all dresses have that shape, but it's, it's a body con dress. Like it's going to have that shape, but again, you don't have that shape. It's relying on you having that shape to fit into that seaming. That's not gonna happen for you. And I, that's not even an issue with her weight. Like that's her shape. If she weren't super morbidly obese, her shape would be very straight and very boyish. Cause I mean, that or it would be an inverted triangle. I'm not sure at this point how much of her boobs are simply because she's fat and that's where it's depositing or how much are naturally her shape, and this is just where we are. But either way, she's not an hourglass shape, or even kind of a pear that might work with that. She, with no extra fat on her, she'd be very straight. So again, this isn't, she's expecting the dress to do a lot more than the dress is capable of doing. And to accentuate your curves <laughs> so it's actually just looking at it it's going to be too small but um, I wasn't even gonna bother trying it on I'm gonna save it again like I will with the other dress but the quality it's very sturdy not flimsy material it's an actually very nice dress in 3x again fashion of a curve Mm. I wasn't surprised that anything would fit and a lot of you did say just by your experience that you knew it wouldn't fit my body type and yeah. the size I am but you know what that's okay I wanted to try anyway and like I said I'm gonna hang on to them mm. if you want to see somebody who does really nice fashion over curved try-ons uh, very beautiful Olivia's world 85 she's a youtuber oh. and she does regular 
um, Vashanova curve, try and hop. I don't know this particular YouTuber. The only plus side fashion haul person I've historically watched has been Glitter and Lasers. But I hope this woman that you've just sent a lot of your not necessarily supportive audience to has a thick skin. I'm guessing if she does plus size try and hauls in, uh, in YouTube that she does, but d did you necessarily want to open her up to that? I don't know. Also, holding on to the dresses, yes, you do. If you see something you love and you're like, oh, when I lose a little bit of weight, I'll be able to fit into that. But these, if you couldn't even get them on, these do seem very much sized down. And I don't know if having things you're too big to wear at the moment in your wardrobe is necessarily going to make you feel better. I feel like you'd feel like a bit of a failure whenever you opened up your wardrobe because it's going to be full of clothes you can't wear. Um, that really just depends on her mentality, how she's feeling, how she can deal with that. But there comes a point where you kind of have to be like, instead of looking at these things every day and saying, well, I can't fit into them, it's better to not have them there. I love her channel, I love her, and I think you guys would enjoy that channel. That's a nice color. I did get one last thing from Fashion Over Curve, and that was the, uh, it's a top. It's like a peplum top. It yeah. is a burgundy, I guess, maroon color. It is a little stretch. I don't think I would call that a peplum top. It's got some elasticated ruching around the boobs, and then it just goes down. It's not emphasizing the waist or flaring out from the waist at all. So I don't know if I call that a peplum, but I also can't see it very clearly because she's not been great at showing me. So I thought I'm going to give it a try on a bit later in the haul, so you will see. And then okay. this is just me uh, dogging on my bangs. <laughs> This is the first oh, top I'm showing you guys from Pennington's. We're on to Pennington's right. now. And this is a stretchy material kind of tank top with a nice big, okay. I guess, what did that be, a lotus flower? I don't know, a big flower on it in black. I really like that. This is a 4X. Okay. If she's saying in a Western generously sized store, because Pennington's is a plus size store, I get the impression it's the equivalent to Evans in the UK or yours in the UK. Those are our two big plus size brands. And um, if she's saying she's a 4X in that and it's stretchy, there was no way 3X in a Chinese brand was going to do it for her. Like, be realistic here, you know? And I'm going to give it a try on for you guys. Oh, we've seen that before. Now this next tank top uh, says smile on it. It's just She's a black in a cup. shirt with lots of cat hair on it. I have worn this in a video previously, but I never showed you guys officially mm -hmm. in a haul. It says smile. I just remember I couldn't read what it said, and I was like, what is that? I feel like we haven't seen it before. Apparently we hadn't. I almost thought it was really cute, and it's same material as the previous tank top. These are the first pair of uh, pants. These are shorts with like polka dots on them. I think the design of that is very cute. I think it's nice to have lighter colors in the summer when it's hot. She's been complaining about the heat a lot. I don't necessarily think that's gonna be good for her. I don't think it's gonna look very good for her just because I know being pear-shaped holding a lot of weight, I don't have the hanging skin anymore, but it having a lighter color on the bottom just emphasized all that. And I know her stomach hangs quite low. So I'm concerned how this is going to look. I think the pants are cute, but I don't necessarily think it's gonna flatter her. They're a bit stretchy material. They're a size 26. These are also from Pennington's. Okay, so a 26 is what? Uh, that's a 5X, isn't it? Four or 5X? I feel like in, if sizes are the same in the UK, I'm not sure. I feel like a 3X was a 22 to 24. So yeah, a 4 or a 5X. She's apple shaped, she does hold a lot of weight forward. It's, it's, her legs are kind of proportionally skinnier. I think we'll probably see that later when she tries these on. But it's gotta be so hard to find something that has the right waistband for her. I always had the opposite problem where it's very difficult to find upper legs that fit, but the waistband is always too big, just cause that's my shape. Next set of uh, bottoms here is, these are some capris from Pennington's. Same kind of stretchy material, a little bit of stretch, but uh, they are uh, more sturdy material. They're not like the legging. And these are some beige uh, capris in size 26 as well. I like those earrings better on her. I think they pop out less and I think she could, yeah, um, those are definitely the best. 
Ooh, see? I love these earrings. I really like how they look. I like Okay, this. guys, now time for the... I hate those. <laughs> I know I said it in the packet. It's confirmed on the body. I hate them. Oh. Try on haul. Let's get two. I hate the gap oh, between the I forgot pearls. about these earrings here, these gold hoops with the little pearls. No. Again, very lightweight. I was surprised, and oh. I really like them. Good quality. All right, okay. guys, time for outfit number one. I was a little concerned about the shorts. I think that concern is justified. I don't think it flatters her. But at the same time, again, finding clothes at all is hard. And you don't want to be wearing like wide black trousers all summer. So there comes to a point where her body is her body and you just kind of have to go with that because it looks the way it looks and try and be comfortable. So uh, I hated clothes shopping so much. I wanted to look so much better in the clothes than I did when I was heavier. And I feel bad that she's, uh, she's having to do this. My head is cut having to, especially as I have to put it on YouTube. Off, but here is outfit number one with the shorts and tank top. Now, I really like how comfortable they are. Yes. And now if you are looking for a top that covers the bottom part of your belly, if you have a big belly like mine that kind of hangs, you're not gonna like this type of... Hmm. I wanted to say, I think she needs a bigger size, to be completely honest. Like, I think the shorts, do fit obviously you can see the seam stretching a little bit but it's very hard to find waistlines that fit so i'm not sure if a bigger size would help all with that or if it would then be too loose in the waist but i think she's obviously stretching that like i said she's got a difficult fit she might have that issue with fit no matter what a size is but i think time to to move up a size and it be um it, it be a better look on your body so i think it not being quite this tight if she's looking for comfort it could be a bit looser and she'd be fine she'd be comfortable but again that thing where i say okay accentuate your shape yes but this accentuates the wrong part of her shape i think i think slightly looser would have been better for her here top but i really like it um it is form fitting i was like from the back doesn't she look completely different <laughs> And it is part of holding her weight so forward. When I gain weight, because I've got the bigger legs, because I've got the bigger hips, I gain weight sideways, pretty much. But she gains weight forward. So from the back, it's actually quite deceptive. Like from the back, those shorts actually do a fair bit for her. But unfortunately, her stomach is bigger than the back part. So it is kind of out of my comfort zone, but um, I really like how it makes my booty look. So this is outfit. Oh, I don't. I don't need the boobs. Thank you. Um, she's changed her bra because I can see it. Number one, guys. Oh, outfit. Zip up your trousers. Are they unzipped right now? Yeah. Okay. Either she's forgotten to zip up her trousers, or. To be honest, she, again, a bigger size. She looks quite packed into those. And tighter at a heavier fabric is not going to, she said they were a heavier fabric. It's not gonna be comfortable in the heat. She'd do better to size up one. It's difficult to size up because you kind of feel like you're admitting defeat, especially when she eats the way she does and she has the black and white thinking with the health. I'm sure that she has in her head well, I'm bloated from the sodium, I'll do juice for a day, I'll have a healthy day, and I'll slim down a little bit, and then it'll be a comfortable fit. And the fact is, it's time to size out, it's time to go up one. Um, plus size clothing in the UK for a standard plus size store goes up to about a 32, so she's got a little bit of space to size up, she's not in the top size, unless Pennington's is different. Something that happens when you've got a heavy stomach like that, Sometimes you zip it up and it works its way back down, the zipper does, because of the pressure behind it, it's forcing it down. So she might have forgotten to zip here, but it will start, it, the zipper won't lock in place because of the pressure, and that means she needs a bigger size. Number two. Yes, my zipper was down the whole yeah. time since I don't have my glasses, I couldn't see it. So you this don't... is uh, the Smile tank top. Again, I'm just talking about how it doesn't cover the bottom of your... <sighs> dear and again when she said she wouldn't re-record it 
if you're saying, okay, my audio is jacked up, but I've done everything else well and I just want to show it, I don't want to retry it on, okay? But then you're saying, also your try-on was kind of jacked up because I forgot to zip up my zipper. At, at this point, just re-record it. Why put yourself out there like this? Belly, but I actually love the way these pants fit and the way really? they look better than the shorts. They are... I do think slightly longer is more flattering. It'll also be more comfortable for her, but she needs... I don't want to be a bitch about this. She needs a bigger size. Really, really nice. And I just, yeah, I really like it. Everything was comfortable. Everything looked nice. Oh, that top is too short for those bottoms. Um, I don't know if you can see in the little box, but it's riding up and it's exposing. Because she has more weight at the front, she has rolls. And I had the same, I had a big old muffin top. And hers is pushing the top up a little bit so she's got some separation so she needs like a tunic top there's a reason tunic tops are so big in plus size fashion they hide a multitude of sins and it would also go down a bit lower and make her feel more confident by hiding that kind of panis area i was very impressed i don't want to feel like i'm saying you have to hide it but in terms of she's obviously self-conscious about it and always has been, and that would be a way to do it. But I guess if she did that, it would also hide her back, and she feels like these pants make her butt look good. And to be fair, they do, so they're a good fit for her from behind, so maybe she doesn't want to cover that up, because it's one thing she can kind of be like, okay, that's what I feel good in, and that's nice. Just gonna give you guys a side view here. I didn't need the shape, but thank and you. And then a back view. See that? That's not... Her jeans are always gonna ride down because she's got the roll up front. She needs a bigger size. <laughs> and a longer shirt. And a oh, side view. Oh, there's the bra. Outfit number three. I still wish her zipper was up. <laughs> um, I think the top is a very good colour for her. That kind of wine claret colour is, is very nice for her. I think the fit of it is better. This smooths over it a bit more. It seems more appropriately sized. The bra is terrible. She's just spent the time telling us that stick-up bra is really good. I don't know why it's not here now, is, is my question, because this would genuinely be a top where you would need either a strapless bra or um, maybe to pull the, the arms up and have more of a gypsy top look. But then that would uncover her arms, and one of the reasons I think she likes this is you know, the upper arms are a difficult area and you can feel quite self-conscious about them. I had enormous upper arms when I was at my heaviest, like really it's where, somewhere where I held my weight. Um, so I can understand just having that little bit of uh, sleeve would be very confidence boosting. But as I said, when she was showing us the, the pasty thing, a strapless bra isn't gonna give her the support she needs. So I'm not sure what she would be able to do here to give herself enough support and still be able to wear the top, but it's not, it's not a good look with this bra at all. The zipper not being done up is really bothering me, but it actually really does look um, pretty nice. Like it's actually fits okay. Okay, so you see how, yes, she's got her stomach, but this uh, material goes quite smoothly over the rest of her body. I, I think either it's stretcher or it's a little bit bigger, but it clearly fits her better than like the the first peach one. If I had a strapless bra, it would look better, but it I think it's because it's It definitely would look better just in the initial glance, but I don't know what it would do in terms of lifting your breasts. It's a more flowy, uh, stretchy material, yeah. but there you can see how it looks. And I really like the color of this top. It's like a Please wine red. I do have a matching lipstick for this. I think I will keep this and wear it uh, periodically. I'll get a nice strapless. Wow, she is sweating. Um, yeah, I think get a better bra for it. See what you can do. Or like I say, maybe just get... It's going to be difficult for it not to cut into her shoulders. But get a thinner bra strap and lift up the shoulders maybe. I don't know, experiment with it. I don't think it's a bad top. I think it's a good fit for her. I think it's a better color for her, but she's gonna have to figure out how to, to work this. Bra and yeah, 
Okay, guys, here's where I wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. Sorry again about the audio. Next time will be uh, fixed and better. So, <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye for now. My uh, download was saying I had another 30 seconds. So, yeah. That's where we are. I was really looking forward to this try on. I wish she would be more realistic because I think she'd be happier. It sucks to be like, okay, I need bigger clothes, but you would feel so much better if they fit well. And yes, having a difficult fit means that might be problematic. It might take some trying on of some other things. We don't know exactly what, what was available in Pennington's, if she could have made a better choice. Um, but there are some choices with the video production, with leaving the zipper down, that she just kind of painted a target on her own back, you know, uh, which was a shame. I do wish she would learn to dress her shape in as much as being super morbidly obese does make that more difficult. She is not very sympathetic to, to her shape at all. And she talks about accentuating it, but then doesn't really do the work to do so tight is not accentuation. I'm glad she found a few things she was happy with. Everyone deserves to be happy in their clothes, I think. And I hope she can find some more outfits that will get her through the summer. We have seen her cycling through the same two or three just now. I wish she would put on a slightly longer top because people are going to make fun of her exposing her belly. It might be that she can't see that it's being exposed because it's difficult to feel that. Watching this video back, she was doing a voiceover. I wish she had uh, she had taken a look and maybe made some different choices. But I did like the gold earrings. I liked the wine color top. I didn't mind the dresses she got from Fashion Nova if they had fit her. I wonder if the sequin one was going to be her her 1920s dress. Maybe that was why she was waiting for the fashion haul. But I don't know. We'll see. She's still got the accessories kit. Clearly she had planned to be a little bit smaller for this haul and that didn't end up happening, but we'll see if in the future, if we're optimistic, maybe she'll be able to wear some of it. We've got to see how long these mukbangs go on for first. So thank you very much for your time. I'm going to go edit this and I will see you all later. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'm still looking forward to the 1920s. Uh, she did mention she was making icebox cake, which is basically the first dessert that comes up along with upside down pineapple cake. Uh, when you type in 1920s menu, so I'm hopeful for the research. <laughs> but she could surprise us and I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everybody.